I'm here to interview your suspect. We've been expecting you, Paul. We have her in the interrogation room. Hello there. You must be the interviewer for the news? Yes. Unfortunately, I am. Okay, what's your name again? Tiffany Tiffles. Lovely name. Was it true that you murdered your husband? Well, he was boring. What was I supposed to do? Get a divorce? Well, a divorce could have been better than murder. How did you kill him? Like this. Bang bang. <laughs> that was not funny. I also specialize in Hollywood sound effects. I think we're done here. Would you like to go out sometime, for a drink? I don't fraternize with who I interview with. Because you will won't probably be released until you're like 90. And I'm happily married, to the woman that busted you. The Blazing Beauty. Great. Huh? Hunk. Leave me alone. Well, too bad. Because a woman is way below the totem pole. You heard Faye. Back off. Haven't you learned your lesson about confronting me? Back when you were married to me? You stupid woman. Come on, Raven. We have to help Vicky. Right? I'm so ashamed. Why did I let Hunk hit me? <laughs> what did Hunk do to you, Vic? Nothing. Don't say that. Faye called me. And we've been down this road before, and I'm not blind. I see those bruises around your chest and neck. Yes. I was trying to defend Faye at the bus stop. He hit me, and force choked me. He won't be touching you again. I promise. I'll be back. You're shut off. And no woman will tell me what to do. You heard Alexa. You need to start following rules. And you need to leave Vicky alone. Vicky is someone that deserves respect. Not abuse. So, you came here to defend Vicky again? You always defend a dumb woman. And you won't be able to keep defending her if you're six feet under. Hoo-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Vicky's not dumb. You are. You need to leave Vicky alone. you. Thank you, Lexina, for the heads up of his whereabouts. No problem, Paul. Honey? You're back. Yes! I'm back. And you don't have to worry about Hunk. That's good. Would you like to have a seat with me? Sure. You know I would. Wow. That Eskimo kiss was electrifying. It was a new move I picked up. It took a lot of practice in the bathroom mirror. That's why you were inside the bathroom, with the door locked? You got it. But honey, I had a feeling that Hunk was going to cause problems. Last night, when we were both laying in bed together, holding you close to me, I had a vision that he was going to hurt you. But honey, you came through to protect me. It's because I care about you. I don't want to see you get hurt anymore. I wish we could both go to a place that no one will hurt us anymore, where we both can be happy. But it's just a dream. There is no such thing as a happy place. 
but we both can still be happy with each other. We can make the most of what we have here on this planet. You're right, honey. You say the most wonderful things. I love you! I love you too. Hmm.